It's a busy week in Jerusalem where people celebrate both Passover and Holy Week. We want to take you inside the walls of the old city to Herod's Palace, where there's 2,000 years of recorded history and a place where some people believe Pontius Pilate sentenced Jesus to death. At the western edge of the old city, the Tower of David stands above the walls. Sixteen years ago, archaeologists found a building while working on the Tower of David Museum. Records on its walls go back even before the time of Jesus and the Roman governor who sentenced him to the cross, Pontius Pilate. For years, experts suggested that Pilate handed down his death sentence from Antonius' fortress on the other side of the city where the Roman soldiers were housed. But recent evidence uncovered here at the site of King Herod's palace indicates that the luxury-loving Pilate was more likely to have pronounced judgment here. Archaeologist Amit Re'em helped discover the palace site in 1999. He's familiar with the history on these walls from Herod's time until the British put a prison on it in the 1940s. Until now, those impressive walls are the only remains from Herod Palace. We do not know what happened to the superstructures, to the palace itself. Maybe it was destroyed in the big revolt. Maybe it was destroyed by the Romans. Maybe it was destroyed by, by the Crusaders or the Ottoman. We don't know exactly where Jesus uh, was tried, where he had his uh, interview before Pontius Pilate. Uh, but we know it's somewhere in Herod's palace. David Pelegi is pastor of Christ Church, just steps away from the site. We know that the palace of Herod the Great eventually became Roman property after Herod's death, and that every year Pontius Pilate would come from Caesarea to Jerusalem here during the time of Passover to oversee the security of the city during the festival that the Jews called the Feast of Freedom. And it was at this time where if there was going to be trouble in Jerusalem, it would be uh, during the Pas Passover holiday. Pelegi says that in a way, the Tower of David encompasses the entire life story of Jesus. Scholars have been saying for, for half a century that uh, the life of Jesus begins at the Tower of David or what was then Herod's palace. That's when the Magi come to visit King Herod. And his life ends basically when Pontius Pilate sentences him to death, pretty much in the same location. So there's some very interesting irony in this story. Israeli archaeologist Renee Sivan is still struck by its power and opulence, even though she helped begin the digging. Jerusalem is like an onion. You peel it, peel it, peel it, and it never ends. But then you, you cry a bit, but not, not too much. That is what happens here. Pelegi calls the Tower of David the best museum in the city and says tourists would do well to start their journey here. Now we have the extra bonus of uh, having the, the very place where Jesus was sent to execution by Pontius Pilate and this will help Christians better visualize those uh, monumentous events that happened to uh, Jesus the Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth, in the last week of his life. And just a couple of miles away, the Mount of Olives, where scripture says he'll come again. John Wagi, CBN News, Jerusalem.